Well, it's always great to go back home and see the family and friends and to see your own stomping grounds. Um, the arena playing in there is something pretty special um, because of what it's meant to me as a former player, but also getting a start um, early on in my coaching career to be able to coach at Tennessee with um, alongside Pat Summit, Mickey DeMoss, Holly Warling, Dean Lockwood. Just some amazing people are there at Tennessee. And um, I wouldn't be here sitting where I am today um, without that, those relationships, without that um, learning at an early age what it means to be a college division one basketball player at the elite level. And so I'm very thankful for that opportunity. Kind of a, a different level, different atmosphere out there on the road. It is. It's always um, a different atmosphere when you're taking a young team on the road. I asked my team how many of you guys have been in Thompson Bowling Arena, and two players raised their hands. Um, Kayla was the third. She used to go to their camps. But it's a, it's a fun time for our kids to really figure out who they're going to be. And our identity is being solidified because we want to be one of the toughest defensive teams in our league. And um, also, we want to be a better rebounding team. Offensively, we've definitely got to make sure that we're taking care of the basketball and doing those things. But when you're on the road, the two things that you can count on night in and night out is defending and rebounding. Um, as far as defending and rebounding goes, uh, I think McCowan and uh, Howard are both up there. Two, 269 and 160. As far as, is that something you, you're drilling into their heads this week? Well, we're playing against a very potent offense where they're scoring over 80 points a game. And they're doing it in a variety of ways. Um, they're not only utilizing McCowan as their go-to inside, um, you, you also have guard play that's stepping up. Um, they've um, put um, players in the right spots in their system. And the play action that they're running lends to them being aggressive at the rim versus off of the dribble drive and post entries. But also, they're doing a very good job of getting themselves to the free throw line. So playing smart, playing the lanes, um, walling up, not fouling, that's also going to be key for us. So what is your guys' plan of attack to, you know, obviously they're a good team. What's your plan of attack to come out strong and play for a full 40 minutes? Well, first and foremost, we have got to value the basketball. We've got to make sure that we handle their pressure. And once we get the ball in, let's be very direct and very um, decisive on the play action that we're running. So I'm looking at hard cuts. I'm looking at setting and using screens. I'm looking at making sure that um, we're getting open. I don't want our offense to be um, helter-skelter because we go a few possessions and then we turn it over a couple, then we go a few possessions, we turn it over. We've got to have a consistent flow on the offensive end. Okay. Um, so what is your goal team or your practice squad doing, doing to do Mississippi State's size <laughs> and ability in the paint justice? Well, it's, it's, um, it's hard to simulate 6-7. But um, we got a we got we got a one practice player that um, is is close to that, but not quite. But we're playing um, our system the best that we can um, against the goal team. They're doing a great job of being whether it's the physical play inside or the athleticism around the perimeter. So we're trying to make sure that we're preparing our our team for the full court pressure. Um, we haven't seen that all year. Um, we're making sure that we're preparing them for how they defend ball screens, things like that, that we can somewhat simulate. And then we're also focusing in on the things that we do well and the things that we're going to do in the game. And so we want to make sure we have a balanced attack of what they like to do, what they, what's going to challenge us, but also where can we find our success tomorrow night. What's really jumped out on you on film? From them, I mean, they, they seem to have it all figured out. Nineteen and one, you know, six in the in the week. But what's kind of jumped out watching them on tape? I think the thing is that that's jumped out is that they have a balanced attack. They're they're a team that establishes paint points, and they do it a, a different ways. They do it, like I said earlier, off of post feeds. They do it off of dribble penetration, and they're not just relying on a jump shot or a three-pointer. 
they're really being determined in attacking the rim, and that's where a majority of their points come from. What would a statement win like this at home mean for you guys tomorrow? Well, it'd be a great win for LSU women's basketball. It'll obviously put us 500 um, in league play, which at the halfway mark, you definitely want to get as many wins as you can on your on your side before you finish and go down the stretch. The committee is going to look at your last 10 games. They typically do. It's a RPI booster, no question about that. And it's also a confidence booster. You know, for our bigs, we're getting ready to go against a potential first round draft pick, at least top three. We're getting ready to go against a young lady who's had Final Four experience and I've got a sophomore and a junior, you know, that we're looking at defending her. But there's a challenge there that if they take that challenge and they really come to play for 40 minutes and just really lay it on the line, there's no loser in this situation. And I want our, our team to look at Mississippi State because they have rightfully positioned themselves as the number one team in our league. We have a chance because I tell them all the time, on any given night, anybody can be beaten in our league. And we have so much to gain from winning on Thursday. You spoke about the, the matchups with them having the talent on that team and having the sophomore and junior guarding them. Uh, win or lose, how do you expect this game to help your players improve for the rest of the season? Again, you if you want to be the best. You got to play the best. And Mississippi State is one of the best teams, not only in our league, but in the country. And our ability to put points on the board with our transition game has been a plus for us. Um, we've got a great rebounder in uh, Ayana Mitchell, someone who really has excelled in that area, letting her shine and her bring what she does best. Kayla Pointer, as our point guard, has shown that when she really puts her mind and focus into being a creator and a penetrator, that she can make other people look good while scoring the basketball. Um, off the bench, we've had great play from Mercedes Brooks. Her three ball is, and the range of it, is just as deep as anybody in our league. If everybody brings their specialty, Faustine has yet to play just her best basketball. There's so much potential in this young lady, and she's only going to get better as the experience comes. But if everybody is on tune, in tune to what they do best, because that's the only thing that you can control is you, and we bring that on Thursday night, then they're going to have to figure out how to also stop us. Uh, speaking of Ayana and rebounding, she got her 600th rebound of her career she's the 16th person in history. Just talk about, I mean, she said she didn't even know until <laughs> someone told her. She just seems, you know, so selfless, selfless on the court and kind of just that mentality. Just talk about how it is to coach her, someone like that. Well, there's no rebounding drill out there for, <laughs> I'm just telling you, that is all her. She came to us with that mentality. She's an undersized post player that plays bigger than what she is. She has a knack for Following the, following the ball, rebounding out of her area. She's athletic, she's gifted, but she also takes pride in that. And when that ball is going up and she knows on the other side of it she's got early position, then nine times out of ten she's going to come up with that rebound. And for her to put herself as one of the best players, and again, she's just going into her junior year, she's going to be statistically one of the best players that have come out of LSU that's giving us double doubles. And I don't know where she's leading the SEC in double doubles, but I know she's got to be top five in doing so with her ability to score the basketball and rebound. And not too many young ladies in our game, um, not only SEC, but nationally, are doing that. So we know you play Mississippi State later on on the road, but what does it mean to get this first matchup at home? Well, anytime you have the home and away series with um, Mississippi State or anybody, you definitely want to take care of home base because it's an opportunity for you to be in the comforts of your own gym. The, the, the crowd is, is, is in your favor. You, you definitely want it to be 
a, a, a win that goes on your record. And then you also look at when you can go on the road and you play on the road at a Mississippi State um, and you can get that win as well. Now, from an RPI standpoint, a road win sometimes has just as much weight or carries more weight than a home win. And so you want to always position yourselves um, to move up in the standings, and that's what this game would do for us. And we know that one of Mississippi State's strengths is um, McGowan and their post play. So is the, the plan for LSU to bang down low with them or, or to kick it out to the guards? I think our plan, you know, we run a matchup zone. And so we want to make sure that we don't allow easy touches. And you can do that different ways, whether you're um, really trying to take the vision of the ball handler away. Um, you're really trying to do your work ahead of time with McCowan. You have to, you have to beat her to the spot. Riding her, forcing her out, um, being physical. She's going to keep pushing you, pushing you, pushing you back. And so there's going to be times where you need to release and use your quickness. But it's got to be done collectively. There's only one basketball that can go in that hoop. And we got to make sure that we're contesting every shot that goes up. But they're such a good team in the rebounding, in their ability to get to the offensive glass, that not only is it important to contest every shot playing a team like them, but you also got to keep them off the glass. And you do those two things, and you're talking about a team that scores over 80 plus points, but if you're not giving them wide open looks and you're keeping them off the glass, it's going to be really hard to score 80 plus points. In order to come out strong this game, everybody has to be in the zone. What kind of music are you going to be listening to before the game? Well, my music is two things. I'm listening to Pandora, and I'm listening to gospel radio and kids bop. <laughs> <laughs>